So now in the last video, we looked at the forward voltage of diodes. And uh, we looked at the forward voltage of LEDs, which are a type of diode. So we got the uh, longer lead right there, the anode, more positive. Shorter lead, the cathode, more negative. That's the direction you put diodes when you want them to conduct uh, easily. So in any case, when we have the LED or other diode forward bias, they're going to have a certain forward voltage. It takes a certain amount of voltage for them to conduct. After that point, you need to uh, limit current because they don't uh, limit current. They just drop a certain amount of voltage. And uh, so we got a protective resistor to limit current. The voltage across the resistor, when all you got is a resistor in series with an LED and then a voltage across the two of them. The voltage across the resistor will be the supply voltage, the voltage across the two of them, minus the voltage drop of the LED. So that gives us 10 volts right there, which uh, is uh, nice in this case because uh, 10 volts divided by 1,000 ohms is 0 0.01 amps. So we're going to have about 10 milliamps. Again, these numbers are approximate. They won't be exact. And so 10 volts across the resistor times uh, 0 0.01 amps, 10 milliamps equals 0.1 watts, which is uh, important here because we are using a quarter watt resistor, 0.25 watts, but that's the absolute maximum. We want to keep the wattage to uh, 0.125 or less, half of the absolute maximum wattage. So now, of course, when you learn this stuff, really, you should be testing it out on the board, taking measurements and stuff. So we're going to set the meter to measure voltage. I only have one setting for voltage there. And the uh, red probe stays in that spot for everything but high current. And so there's uh, the voltage there. It's auto-ranging. Some other ones are not auto-ranging. You have to set a range. And you want to set it to a value higher than what you can expect. But there you can see we're sh uh, slightly shy of 12 volts. We're losing a little bit of voltage along the way due to uh, connections. But uh, in any case, power supply is set at uh, 12 volts. So now we're going to go across the LED. So this is one way you can look at the forward voltage of the LED. And that's actually closer to 2 volts than I thought it would be. So at uh, lower currents, it dips down a little bit. At higher currents, it goes up a little bit. And uh, we're pretty close to spot on 2 volts there. So that's actually uh, pretty cool. So now we're going to go to both ends of the resistor. And we'll see probably uh, spec less than 10 volts because we don't quite have 12 volts uh, total. But uh, there you can see, about 10. So I can go anywhere where there's a connection, direct connection to both sides of the resistor. So there you can see that uh, we got the uh, voltages. And for current, we could open up the circuit and look at the current with the uh, multimeter, but uh, the power supply here is uh, close enough. So it's probably just a spec shy of uh, 10 milliamps, 0 0.01 that we showed uh, before. There you can see we got uh, 12 volts at the supply. But uh, in any case, there you can see it's uh, pretty close to 10 milliamps. So now we're gonna expand on this. We're gonna put a couple one kilo ohm, 1000 ohm resistors in parallel. When we do that, we're gonna change the current significantly. That does not affect though, other than a little bit, as I said before, the uh, forward voltage of the LED right there. So ultimately, we're going to get a brighter LED, but we're not going to get a, a different voltage across the uh, LEDs other than a tiny bit, of course. And uh, the voltage across both of the resistors are actually going to be the same. And that's why we're going to get twice the uh, current, because current through a resistor depends on the voltage across it. We'll have two resistors, with the same voltage across them. Each one of them will be passing current, so it's probably easier to think of conductance. We'll have two of them conducting instead of one. And uh, so there you can see the uh, LED got uh, brighter. Hopefully you could, uh, you could tell. I'll turn the lamp down. I think it'll be a little more dramatic. Not as bright. And uh, now it is brighter. It may not be twice as bright, even though it has twice the current going through it. At some point, it kind of levels off how bright it gets. But uh, you could see the effect there. 
So now, as always, do uh, the voltage test. So first, we got the uh, lone LED and, uh, or actually the LED and lone resistor right there. Two volts across the LED out of 12 and uh, 10 across the resistor as uh, we saw before. Not exact, but uh, but close enough. And uh, now we'll add the uh, second resistor. Also, 1000 ohm resistor. So again, we're gonna go across the LED. And uh, there you can see it went up a little bit because it's more current, but uh, not much considering now there's twice as much current going through the LED. And there we got the uh, voltage across the two resistors. Again, pretty close to exactly the same. So we can take some other measurements right here. We'll set this to a measure resistance. We'll look at the resistance of the two of them in parallel. So right now there's an opening right there. And uh, so no currents going through the resistor, that's important. This is a dead end right there when you measure uh, resistance. But in any case, you're gonna see about 500 ohms right there with the two of them. They're an equivalent of half the resistance because there's two of them, they're conducting twice as well. They're uh, both 1000 ohms as we'll see there. So it looks like a spec shy for the one and then 1000 for uh, that one right there. But in any case, I'll uh, put the LED back. We took all the voltage readings we're gonna take. We'll get rid of the multimeter and uh, bring back the uh, power supply for current. So again, we could open up the circuit again and uh, measure current, but we're just gonna go this route right here. And so we got nine, usually I limit current to 20 milliamps for my power supply to protect the LED, but we're gonna get really close to uh, 20 milliamps. So I wanted to make sure I bumped that up so that it doesn't say 20 milliamps because that's what I limited it to. It'll say 20 milliamps because that's what we're actually getting. And there you can see it was 20 milliamps. So it's kind of teetering on the edge right there. But uh, in any case, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching the uh, entire thing. If you can donate, please do. I have links down below that helps out the most. But otherwise, watching videos helps out a ton. I really appreciate that. So thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.